welcome back to who hello and welcome back to Rainy Day Podcast with your with your host River River and a mouthful of whipped cream <laughs> okay So that was a, oh gosh, that was a beautiful intro. Uh, You made me laugh, so then I started choking on the whipped cream. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Mom. Oh, poor Nico. So today's episode is a true crime and and paranormal. Paranormal, paranormal episode beautiful so basically how it's gonna work is we're gonna have mom <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we're gonna have a beautiful mythology and true crime episode then we're gonna have true crime and paranormal then we're gonna have just a normal, beautiful, paranormal episode. Paranormal. So, today's paranormal okay, episode so, is gonna be okay. I have to say, I have to say it real quick, otherwise I'm gonna like die. So, I did my episode on skinwalkers, right? <laughs> yeah. And the thing about that is that if you say it, it said that they they might come for you. And I, we, I just had, like, a full mental breakdown before, and I couldn't get off the bed, because I thought they were going to get my feet. <laughs> and nobody needed to know that, but now you know. Yeah, I was there for the whole thing. Theoretically, you were, you were on the computer screen. But, yes, that is true. So, anyways, yes, that's what my episode's about. And if I die tomorrow, I don't want to die tomorrow, because there's so many things I want to do. Okay, but, like, you literally were, like... Okay, I'm gonna type this thing in the chat. And then I say it, and you're like, oh, the thing about that is you're not supposed to say it. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Uh Uh-huh. Sorry. We're both screwed. We're gonna die. (laughs) Oh! (laughs) (laughs) But the thing is, my mom said it so many times in her lifetime, and then she, like, tortured me with it, because she she said it, like, multiple times while I was curled up in a fetal position. (laughs) You also didn't need to know that. (laughs) Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I really should have that checked out. I repeat things so much. <clears throat> so anyways, moving on from my mental breakdowns and my mental unsta- instability. That, I think that's a word. Anyways, that's not a word. Anyway, <clears throat> these creatures, which I'm going to be referring to them as creatures from now until the end of time because... I don't want to die. Yet. Fair. Okay, anyways, these creatures um, are universally known as witches that can change into animals or possess animals. How fun! Because I have animals. Oh! So do you! Indeed. I have birds. They're in a cage, so the though. Creature... Oh. That doesn't matter. I'll get to that later. Great! Great! Yeah. So, the creature um, has deep Native American roots and is often associated with its culture, which I didn't know that, and I thought that was pretty cool. And if I mispronounce anything, I'm so sorry. I do not mean to. It's just I'm not familiar with any of this stuff, and I'm not an expert, so you can yell at me if you want, but I also might cry if you do that, so... Also put them in the chat because I wanna yeah, I don't I don't I know one of them. So the <clears throat> Um these these guys. Oh let me go into the chat. Okay. I know how to pronounce the Apache, right? That's Apache. Yeah. Pueblo. 
Yeah, that Apache and the other one, which I that can be pronounced like different ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they all have their own le legends in involving oh my involving this creature, which that's so great. Um, no offense, but like I'm terrified. <laughs> How is that offensive? It's supposed to be scary. Yeah, you should see pictures. Oh my god, I'm scared to look up pictures of this thing. I'm terrified of it. I, I think we shouldn't do a picture for this episode because I will cry. I feel maybe we could do a picture of the different, like, tribes. Maybe. There's also another tribe which I didn't, um... Um, it's these people that that's what Nova, we're focusing on. Okay. Oh, wait. To the people on Spotify, I think it, it's, I'm guessing it's Pueblo Spell. people, Apache, and then there's one spelled like H O P I. So I'm not fully sure how to pronounce it. So I'm not going to try it because I don't want to. Wait, I could probably look it up. That's true. And then the other one is spelled... Sorry. What? I don't know. You, the, the, the thing... Oh, wait. Did I hear myself? Yeah. Wait. Okay. okay. How... Let, let's see how Google says it. Hopi. Hopi. Okay. And then the other one. And then the other one, I think it's... I think I know what it is, but I'm gonna look it up. Navajo. Navajo. Yeah. Oh! oh okay. My God. I was right. Cool. So, Pueblo Apache. Like huh? I didn't think it was spelled like that. That's why I was like, didn't know how to say it. Ah. Gotcha. So, um, yeah. It depends on, like, what culture you're looking at for what, um, what the legend says, so Fair. I'm pretty sure we're focusing on Navajo, because I'm pretty sure the articles that I, were re I was reading, it was mainly surrounding them. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Some people believe that um, these creatures are born to use indigenous magic for evil, or mis to misuse the magic. And these these people are born to a medicine man or like as a medicine man or uh -huh. something i'm not completely sure i'm so sorry if i'm offending anybody like i'm like not getting any of this right i'm not an expert i don't know i'm just putting that out there we don't mean to offend anyone yeah but I do if you have complaints down. and you want to have us learn? Yeah, we can take this down and redo it if anybody's offended by any of our things. Yeah, especially if <laughs> you're a part of one of these tribes. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> because we try not to be offensive, so all you could do is email us, and the email will be at the end of this episode. Let us know. Yeah. Okay, um, where was I? Okay, um, the medicine man is given powers that he uses for evil. So, like, yeah, that's basically what they are. I think. And, um, um in parentheses, I put this varies, and I didn't spell varies right. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I meant by that, but okay. <laughs> It's said that anyone can become one of these creatures if they commit something that is taboo enough. So, like, sins. Mm -hmm. Don't sin. And, like, mainly, like, killing, like, one of your own family members or, like, part of your tribe, I think. Mm -hmm. Or, like, friends and stuff. So, like, don't kill people. That's my message. Don't kill people. It's a good message. <laughs> Yeah. Um, they are said to be able to possess animals and humans 
and be able to turn into animals as well. In their appearance, they are said to be very animalistic, even when they take human form, which I didn't know that, and good to know. Um, yeah, um, they're said to... Okay, so they're really hard to kill, which is nice, because, yeah, you can only use a knife or a bullet that's been dipped in white ash from, like, the tree. Mm hmm Yeah, and honestly, that's really specific, and it kind of reminds me of Vampire Diaries. <laughs> why? In a way. What, what do you mean, why? Because the, the, the original people, they can only be killed with, like, a stake dipped in the ash from the oh, oak tree. Oh, fair. Yeah, so I was like, that reminds me of Vampire Diaries, and... That's really oddly specific, but I'll go with it. <laughs> um, the the Navajo people don't speak of the legend much, which probably because it's scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why, but they like. I don't know. <sighs> That's just what I read, and and like if you really I, believe no, I, that, if you say the word they're gonna come get you they're probably like hey let's not tell this story because in telling the story i'm gonna have to say the word yeah so. i don't know um i was gonna say something i was gonna say something i was gonna say something Oh, I was reading my the article that I was reading could have it was like a news article, so it could have possibly been like biased or like not true or something. I don't know. I feel like news does that sometimes, so like mm -hmm. I have no idea. I don't watch the news, read news, I don't do news. <laughs> I don't news. I'm the news person. Anyways, um, yeah, they, they, they don't speak about their, the legend much, which, fun, that's nice. Um, those who do, or did become these creatures would choose, uh, what kind of animal they wanted to turn into, depending on the skills they needed for a task. This could depend on speed, strength, endurance, sh stealth, and anything else that they might need to complete a task. To possess a human person... Why did I say human person? I don't know. <laughs> to possess a human person. <laughs> yeah. Hi, mother. You're back. Yay. You didn't die. Okay, anyways. Um, I'm gonna close my door. I can, I can, I can do it now. I know. Yeah. Yay. Um, to possess a human person, um, these creatures can make eye contact... And then be able to possess the person. I'm never looking at people again. Okay. Um. <laughs> in the in the Navajo culture, it is also frowned upon to wear a predatory animal skin because of the legend. Mm. Because yeah, so they only wear like deer skin and stuff. Huh. I guess like herbivores. Herbivores. That's like actually really are. interesting. Yeah, because they're like, I don't know what the, I, well, you can gather context clues what the reason is, but I don't know how to explain it, so. No, I, I, you explained it well. Okay, in human form, these creatures' eyes are said to be very animalistic, and in animal form, they are supposed to be, like, human-like. They look human, and in human form, they look animal-like, which, that's nice. So I guess we'll know if we ever see one. If they're real, and hopefully they're not real, because I'll start crying. I feel tears welling up in my face <laughs> right now. I might start crying. That's okay. Crying is okay. Perfectly aware of that, thank you. Um, where was I? Oh, it's also said that they can read minds and control thoughts and behaviors and sometimes even calls cause in illnesses which is nice because please don't read my mind <laughs> <laughs> okay um 
Um, they they are also why should I why do I say they're also said to be? I don't like that I do that. Anyways, they also they are also said to be faster than a car and can jump into oh. roads in hopes of causing a car accident. Oh. What was that? That was my voice being like. Ah. Oh, it's scary. Along with this, people also say that they may be able to control some nocturnal animals. So, like, no. wolves and, like, coyotes and things. That's so sad. Throughout history... I got a notification, sorry. Turn my phone over. Okay. Throughout history, in the Navajo culture, um, the creature is said to have caused many problems that include... That include or that induce, include, that, I don't know, something that starts with an I, and not iodine. Why did I think of that? I don't know. I understand my own question. I'm talking to myself. I should stop. <sighs> they include bad crops, illnesses, death, and basically things that can go wrong. And if they are around, things that can go wrong will go wrong. That's nice. So, anyways, to my last bullet point, which I just basically explained. All of this is just speculation and stuff, and legend. And, unless you believe in it. And, honestly, I don't d believe in it or not believe in it. So, I don't know. And I am also probably leaning more towards the side of believing in it, because <laughs> I'm terrified. But I believe that I don't believe in it, so then I'm not, like absolutely terrified and cannot live my life so if i believe that it's not real then yeah if i don't see it, it's not real <sighs> so i might see one no which is so. what nico says to make herself feel better <laughs> about yeah, scary things it, which yeah. is like fair Okay, and I'm going to apologize if I got any facts wrong, and you can completely correct me if I did get any facts wrong. And we already kind of discussed this, but I'm just saying it again. And anyways, I hope you enjoyed my story of these terrifying creatures that might make me cry later, because I will be dying. <laughs> Metaphorically, not literally. And in the next episode, um, get ready for the Skinwalker Ranch. Oh, you said it twice! <laughs> Shut up. That is some courage. This <laughs> <laughs> was gonna be like a little introduction, I guess, to the culture and like the legend and whatnot. Anyways, on to you, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to something less spooky Terrifying. spooky but something like uh, e <laughs> okay so literally it was just i was like okay i'm gonna go on youtube and watch videos for fun and so i came across this video about this tiktoker <laughs> who like killed her sister and it was like a BuzzFeed Unsolved thing. So that's what this case is about. So Claire Miller was a 14 year old TikToker who lived in Manheim, I don't know, County, Pennsylvania. So like right next to us. Uh, Claire Miller was charged with killing her sister after calling police confessing to stabbing her 19 year old sister Helen Miller. Claire claims that while her parents were sleeping, she stabbed her sister multiple times. Okay. T.W. for stabbing? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's kind of our podcast. I don't know if I need to add T.W. Well, anyway. Uh, Helen died because of a deep... What? I Sorry. Our, our logo literally has a knife on it. Yeah. And blood. So if you're not okay with stabbing, you shouldn't even, like, be on this podcast. Get away. Go away. I actually <laughs> don't. I love you. <laughs> but no, also, don't. we don't mean okay with stabbing. 
We mean like I don't know. Like Like you're okay with listening to things about Yeah. Don't be okay with stabbing. Yeah, no. That's not good. Um Helen died because of a deep wound in her neck. Helen had cerebral palsy and because of this she used a wheelchair. Uh, Claire spoke of having homicidal and suicidal ideas to a witness who still remains anonymous. Claire was living with her sister Helen and her mom and her dad. Her father, Mark Miller, was wealthy and Claire had come from a well-educated and privileged family. Claire and Helen attended Lancaster County Day School. Uh, Mark tried to give his children everything they wanted. Mark also wanted to give his daughters every opportunity possible to give them a positive and good upbringing. Wow. Upbringing. <laughs> it was said that Claire and Helen had a good relationship and that Claire looked up to her older sister, Helen. Why did I write that again? Uh, Claire would often go to the hospital with Helen and would always be by her side. Claire was in ninth, was in ninth grade and once the crime had been committed on, committed, her TikTok blew up. Her account gained 21.9k views. Um, Claire tended to post videos in which she would lip sync to songs and she would make content about anime and the show Supernatural. Uh, oh, oh my god! I know. I'm literally into both of those things and this case made me be like, ah. <laughs> Not that liking those things make you a bad person. It's just, like, when you like things that people, like, when you like things that, like, ugh, this is hard to explain. Like, let's say a m murderer likes ukuleles. <laughs> like, and it comes out. You're just gonna feel a little weird about that. I don't know. It's, like, weird. But, okay. anyway... <laughs> Her account was called Spirits and Such Consulting, and on January 13th, uh, Claire posted a video in which Mark, her dad, and Helen were in it. Once news broke out, friends and families were absolutely stunned with disbelief. Of friends of Claire's said she was depressed, suicidal, and psychotic. The friends said that Claire had an unappealing way of talking about mortality. Claire's parents disagreed with this accusation. Before the crime, Helen... Helen, wow. Before the crime, Claire had 21,000 followers, and after the death of Helen, she gained 11,000 followers. Claire Miller's account was deactivated, and TikTok uh, removed the account because it said the account enabled violence. Because, you know, when you stab your sister multiple times, that's kind of what happens. Um, so, her account was taken down, but if you go on TikTok, like, this account re-uploaded all her videos and it's really creepy to watch because you're like this is i don't know it's not it <laughs> um helen miller went to bed on february 21st 2021 20, for the last time claire hadn't been able to sleep and her brain was filled with murderous thoughts she went into the kitchen and grabbed a knife she stabbed Helen in the throat and stabbed her multiple times in multiple places. Claire then covered Helen's face with a pillow after stabbing her in the throat again. Claire then went outside in the snow, tried to wash off her hands, and then she called the police. Claire was arrested on February 22, 2021. She led the police to Helen's room where they discovered Helen's dead body. The police found blood everywhere and a knife still stuck in Helen's throat. The police tried to re resuscitate- resuscitate? Right? Resuscitate? resuscitate? Yeah. Okay. So I was right the first time. Tried to resuscitate Helen, but she was pronounced dead at 4.45 a.m. Claire showed no guilt or remorse towards mur murdering her sister. Claire's lawyer is still trying to have her case transferred to juvenile court, but uh, her lawyer, Robert Bayer? Bayer? I don't know. B-E-Y-E-R, filed for a notice of possible insanity or mental health defense. April 16th, it was announced she will be tried as an adult, though, but if they win the insanity defense, she could be out of police custody by age 21. And that's the end of my story, because you 
we don't really know the verdict yet because this all happened. So there's that. <laughs> Yay. Well, now this crazy episode is finally over. <laughs> Because this today's episode was was a fun time. Um. So again, email us with any suggestions of episodes, any problems, uh, anything you'd want us to add to. You know, or any news. Like, let's say you see a missing person, and you're like, I want you to talk about this. Like. Let people know. I mean, we don't have a big following, but still. <laughs> Make us have a big following is the moral of the story. So anyway, we're going to go on to everyone's favorite uh, part of the episodes, which is a lie, but it's fine. Follow Why us on our Instagram at rainy <laughs> underscore day underscore podcast. Visit our website at rainydaypodcast.webnode.com. And go to our Spotify where you can look it up as Rainy Day Podcast. <laughs> our email is a rainy day podcast at gmail.com and our Facebook is Rainy Day Podcast. And there's a group and a page and they are linked. So there. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Again, thank you guys for listening. Goodbye!